Now, in this part of the lesson, we are going to be revising calculations with fractions using minus, which is also called subtract, of course. Right, let's look at the first example. Now, remember, with plus and minus, the first thing I have to look at is the denominator. All right, now, is it the same? Yes, in this case, it is the same. So, we can do a straight minus. Okay, there we go. So... We're going to put down our denominator first. We simply put it down. And then we say 5 minus 4 of the numerators. And we get a 1. There we go. That was easy. Now, the second example, let's look at the denominators again. What do we find? They are the same. Remember, if they are not the same, you cannot minus it straight away. Right, they are the same. Let's put the denominator down. Then we take the, look at the numerators and we say 5. 4 minus 3 is 1, and we put it um, above the denominator. Let's go to the third example. Let's take a look at the denominators. What do we notice? They are the same, so we simply write it, the denominator down, which is 4, and we say 3 minus 1 is 2. All right, now when we've got two quarters, remember we must, the little bells must ring and we must remember that two quarters is the same as, that's right, the same as one half. So if you remember that, you can put equals one half. There we go. Now, the fourth example here. Let's look for the denominators. Ooh, but look, what do we find? We've got a whole number there, which we have to, we're going to have to change this so that the denominators are the same. But how do we do that? We make this into a whole number by putting three thirds. Remember, that's the full pizza. We've got one whole pizza. It's got three thirds in it because you have to look at this denominator here. And that tells you what denominator you need here in the beginning. All right. So now we say three thirds. That was three thirds there. We're going to minus two thirds. And what do we do? Now our denominator is the same. So we simply put down the denominator and we say three minus two is one and we get one third there we are then number five here we do a similar thing we have to make this into a whole number look at that denominator what does it say we're using quarters now so we need this one to be four quarters a whole pizza with four quarters right minus three quarters what does that give us we first of all put down our denominator and we say four minus three is one and that's our answer now the last example once again, we've got a 1, which we have to convert to a fraction, and we can see our denominator must be 8. So this is going to change to, that's it, 8 eighths. We've got 8 eighths here, we minus 5 eighths, and the denominator we put down straight away, because it's the same now, 8 minus 5 is 3, and we have 3 eighths in this one. All right, so now I hope that you're going to be able to do them in your lesson today in the same way as this.